Alright. Hello, Internet. This is, Le this is Lego, and welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom Fusion LP. I have... Along with me on this magnificent tra train wreck, I have dragged my friend along. Say hello, friend. Hi, I'm Kurt. We are not Fusion Team, but it's a pretty cool name. And I give them credit for that. Anyway, we've got a parade of Goombas here just to start us off. You know, your normal weird colored Goombas. Red shoes, blue shoes, guy Skull with a Jason dude. mask. <laughs> Frickin' Submariner back there. Mm, yeah. Anyway. Good soundtrack oh. so far, at least. Oh, don't get me started on that. Anyway. <laughs> Mushroom Kingdom Fusion is just your normal Mario game. You know, you run, you jump, you collect coins, and throw shells at enemies. Up there, you got the first of the stage's eight red coins. Took Ooh, the right? idea from Yoshi's Island. It's a Mario you... game. It's never been done before. Well, you can't actually see what coins are red unless you're looking very closely. Anyway, collect all eight, and you get a reward at the end of this stage, which can only occasionally kill you. <laughs> oh, this I game was made by sadists. I wish I was joking about that last part. Uh, those hand icons, they just say that you stand on an enemy, you can pick it up and throw it at your other enemies like Super Mario Bros. 2. Well, it's cool that they included that, at least. Uh, it t becomes downright necessary at times to actually kill things. Wait a second, those green things look familiar. They're... you might recognize them, they're rubies. Why they're, are there rubies in this game? They're this game's currency you used to, at the shops to buy power-ups. And believe me, you will need them. Does the JS stand for Judge Spear? Yeah, the original, um founder of this project. And a pretty cool guy. Yeah. Unlike you'll, the people who actually finished the game. You'll... Uh, let's not go into that. <laughs> <laughs> you'll find little tributes to the development team scattered throughout the game. It's not exactly subtle, but it works. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Now, I actually hit that message box coming up, because it's a funny note. That is the only information on the swimming system you will get inside the game. Was, and that first hex box about the up-down is very important. You will all, probably never read that because you're busy on an Invincibility Star-fueled rampage. Yes! And again, that is the only place in the game where they hide that information information about the swimming system. Oh wow, that that one up was really gay. That was your eight red coin reward, the flowers there. Oh okay. Yeah. I, I will get to how much you need to know that little tidbit about the swimming later. It but for now let's play a ter let's play a mini game that I have never figured out how to win. Oh is You'll wreck yeah. Oh, it's a flower star. Exactly. Anyway, let's go on to World 1 2. They make Literally. you into the human torch from the Fantastic Four. <gasps> the second level is an underground level! What will they well, think of next? Welcome to World 1 2 of Mushroom Kingdom Fusion, which is World 1 2 from Super Mario Brothers. The originality is just astounding. It gets. It gets better. I don't want. I want to say it gets better, but it does. When it gets well, more original, it also had gets to sadistic at hell. <laughs> Couldn't fix the mistakes of the original developers. Just had to leave this in there. Well, it's not really a mistake. It's an intentional shortcut. Well, and I'm honestly, talking the mistakes of the original Nintendo developers. You know, oh. Super Mario Bros. Two. Oh. Oh, I wonder what that could be. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a warp. That's a warp zone. I, we're that is we're not going to trust off. the bonus pipe. I have... well, I have... I'll open it later, because it leads to World 2. But for now, short level <laughs> Well, you with. completely skipped over that one! <laughs> Man, the power-up up there is freaking out. Yeah... It's some kind of leaf. <laughs> <laughs> anyway gonna have Mario just mow down the first of many random encounters on the map. Wait, there are random encounters? Well, they're not 
someone's just random as and they just walk, they don't, they just stand there and you go kill them. Anyway. <laughs> what was the point of that? Uh, more Super Mario Brothers 3 stuff. Anyway, we're gonna switch to the best Mario Brother. Oh, <gasps> yes! There's a ton of characters in this game. I'll be showing a lot of them off in the first World 1 videos. Why would you need anyone except Luigi? Because his traction, his lack of traction is downright lethal. Oh, but he shoots fireballs that go straight forward, just like in Smash Brothers. Yeah, that mushroom house will give you one of three random power-ups. I think the other thing you get is Luigi's Hammer Brother suit and his Tanuki suit in there. Which I'll hopefully show off later. Man, those green fireballs really look lethal. They just... Oh, hi. Hi, Poison Mushroom. We will be oh, very getting intimately acquainted with acquainted with those over the course of this game. <laughs> well, I've had the one Mario quote-unquote power-up that nobody likes. Except this team, this game. This game <sighs> loves it. Well, of course, because the game wants to kill you. And not just yeah. in the game, they want to make you kill yourself in real life. <laughs> if you die well, in the game, you die for real. Oh god, well, good thing I'm effectively immortal. Did anyone though. actually see that movie? I don't think anyone did. Uh, anyway, this is World 1-1, one, one, I think... I want to say 1-1 one, one from the Lost Levels. And... Yeah, it's just... I'm trying... Well, the design isn't exactly original, but it's not exactly offensive either, so... Wait till later. They have their good moments, and they have their terrible moments. Oh, I cannot wait. Trust me. Yeah. Another short, pretty short and easy level. Your reward... For getting all your coins is 20 rupees. A really gay 20 rupees. And a quick and a quick use of Luigi's special jump there, the flutter jump, to get to the flagpole. Again, that flower is really freaking out. Hmm. What's with the and power ups just going left to right? I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna head back in there because there's a secret exit to unlock. Ooh, secret exits. So you're just gonna where the just go down the pipe and you meet. Uh, a recurring asshole of this game. Oh, who could this be? Mouser, really? And I am not <laughs> going to fight him fairly, because this he will never stop showing up. He is the most recurring mid-boss in this game, and every time they find a new way to make him an absolute pain in your ass. The assassination of Mouser by the coward Luigi. <laughs> But really, who wants to fight this douchebag fairly? Oh, uh, oh! Wait till later when they start making you fight him on crumbling blocks. Really? It's not even the worst fight. It uh, it, it gets painful. There's a reason I will never fight this jerk fairly, because he never stops coming back. Uh... <laughs> that secret that exit's unlocked, but we'll come back there later because that level is an absolute pain. It. It's one of the hardest levels in the game. So in, the, just keep in, going. in the first world, really? Well, you're not intended to. You don't have to play that one Sonic, in order. Tails, Wario. <gasps> yes. Arthur. He's one of my favorite characters. He has an infinite supply of projectiles, a double jump, and he can't run. He also dies in two hits and has a very lethal knockback, as I'm going to um, demo in a moment. He is the best character in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Yeah, I'm just here. You can see I'm just demoing his uh, knockback, not not about failing that? my dodge horribly and dying. So let's just try that again. Oh, oh, they play that sound every time, don't they? Unfortunately, we didn't. That's gonna get annoying. Yeah, pretty much. You have. Unfortunately, I didn't get his weapon that can actually kill those things. It didn't spawn. It didn't you spawn for me, so I'm stuck just dodging them with hammer with hammer grade power. So wait, the blues get like hammered? Arthur's shield. Yes. <laughs> I, I shouldn't even dignify. Now you see what he has to put up with every single day. Can I can I uh, <laughs> say hi to one of my friends on the LP sub forum? Hi, slow beef. Sure. Sorry, I gave you crap Hold about up. having a Mac that one time. <laughs> <laughs> and 
Anyway, the last sequence of doors... You notice they all looked identical. There's no way of telling which one is the right one. So how long does this actually take before editing? Um, well... The original one, I managed to get my first... Guess it right the first time Lucky. I ever played this game, somehow. And then when I went to record it initially, I ended up getting lost for a few for a minute or two. And then I had to re-record, so it looks a lot better. My embarrassing failures <laughs> are only in dying horribly. I'm sure we'll see a lot of those later. Anyway, time for my fa time for my most hated recurring obstacle. And oh. thing that's in every Super Mario World <laughs> ROM hack. Block trains. It's I like hate I'm really things. watching a Raukow video. Uh, yeah. uh, there he goes. Arthur's... I have no excuse for that. I, so let's just try that again. Let's not fall to our desk this time. Yeah. You know, I just take a quick not jump into the boo. And... We'll just grab that last red coin, which is hiding behind the block train. Oh, that's just not fair. Yeah, if you get off early, there's, like, almost no way to get back to it. What does that mushroom do? Uh, it just keep, basically gives you a, a mushroom power-up when you grab it. And no, you... They forgot to put the boss music. Someone forgot to put the boss music in for this room. So it's not just that it doesn't have boss music, it's that they forgot. They just... Yeah. They we are clearly dealing with a very competent dev team, aren't we? This was beta tested. <laughs> By who? <laughs> you, you don't know. You haven't even begun to wonder, to question that yet. Just, just wait. Also, he takes eight hits to kill for some reason. Boss health in this game is another horrible, horrible problem. And it's remarkably consistent. Uh, and he explodes into money. They they love making things that should not explode explode for no apparent reason. Michael Bay Kingdom Fusion. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Rise of the Fall. Anyway, Arthur's gonna kick a bit more ass before we switch off characters. Oh yeah. Love me some Arthur. Oh, the one-up is a little king. I like that. Yeah, most of the characters have their own unique one. I love this. I'll, I'll cut out the player select screens in the future, just showing it off. Oh, roll it. Link! He come to town. He come to no. town. The princess no. 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 I'm, I'm I'm very sorry. <laughs> to both you, Lego, to and viewers. everyone watching this, I am very sorry. Anyway, Link. Link is a weird character. He's supposed to undergo a complete revamp in the next version, but for now he's just kind of terrible. It is did they create his sprites themselves? It looks like. I, yeah, they, he's one of the custom sprite characters. They did a pretty good job on him, honestly. Uh, Link can't stomp on enemies, but he has his down thrust from Smash Bros. and Zelda I like. I like that. Like it's the little things that they get right. It looks like, but then yeah, overall yeah, they just have. Some welcome to Tiny Huge things. Island from. Super Mario 64, now without gigantic fish trying to eat you. Uh, but just for everyone watching, he meant to say Tiny Huge Island, so please don't post any comments about that. So how do you like those uh, Chuck Yas? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I will never live that down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just trying to prevent people from making the same mistake that you made. Nobody oh, well, watching this has any anyway, idea Link what we're has four about. health. He's four health. He can only regenerate it uh, from enemies dropping random heart hearts. So. So that's completely luck based then. Pretty m much. He has no projectiles outside of his suits, which he fortunately keeps until he dies. And his sword has an obnoxiously short range, so you are gonna hope they actually give you power ups. D did you see that 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 piranha plant? That was an ugly piranha plant. I think that's the actual Super Mario Bros. 3 sprites from Giant Land, so... Really? Not their fault there. It's been so yeah. long since I played the games. Anyway, oh, there's some power-up. <gasps> Deku Link? Yeah. So, so wait, when, when you told me this game was nuts... 
You know, well, he can yes, he can spit Deku nuts. <laughs> I'm not even dignify that pun with a response. Anyway, this I'm is trying to say I didn't actually come up. up with that one. I apparently did not go to this part of the island where you can actually fly, I just went to the exit, but... That's not really the most Deku fitting sound effect but yeah, for the Deku Link can fly once you build up enough speed like the Tanuki suit can. Wait, Deku Link can do that? Yeah. I know. Hmm. We're just gonna switch back to Mario to finish, to finish up this world, because this fortress is kind of obnoxious. Isn't this the music from Super Smash Brothers? I... I want to say yes, but I'm not sure. That's somebody can post in the thread, but... If anybody in the thread knows whether or not for sure, just let us know. Yeah. Anyway. Welcome to the first fortress of World 1. Oh, the road I did. Yeah. Honestly, it's not a bad piece of... It's the first really unique piece of level design. Totally original, and... It's... At least at first, it's not pretty, it's not bad. It's pretty challenging and without be without being complete bullshit. Yeah, this doesn't look bad at all, actually. Blarg. Hi, Blarg. I like I love that I love that guy's name. <laughs> Me too. Then they completely changed his design in Yoshi's story for whatever reason. No, there's I, I think uh, there's a one up by the Sumo brother. I I found by accident trying to spin jump over him, hit the one up block, and ran to my death. It, by hitting him. <laughs> anyway, welcome the to the really bullshit does part. Hate you. Even when it gives you an extra life, it kills you. Yeah, these fireballs... MKF giveth and MKF taketh away. Anyway, the bullshit part. These fireballs, if you notice, are not spawning off-screen. They're spawning about a quarter of the way on-screen. And if you do not know when they're coming, they will hit you every time. So do they just spawn at a... Uh, Random intervals, or is there a I'm, pattern to it? I'm not sure. I want to say there's a hope, oh, there's a pattern, but it's really hard to dodge these things. Eh. Flower power. And now for a now for pathetic easy boss. Yay, Morton! Fortunately, he only takes he actually only takes three hits to kill. Wait, wait, wait! He takes three hits, but like, but the big boo took eight. Did they forget to change that, too? Don't give them ideas. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the worst they can do? Make you jump on him eight times? I mean, yeah, it would be really long we will and get, unnecessary, We will be getting but... back to that comment much, much later. Oh boy, I cannot wait for that. Anyway, next video we're gonna start in the desert area, so... Ooh. See you then, everyone. Bye-bye.